Well, welcome back, everyone. Welcome to another update on Seaman. I know it's been a while. We're going to check on him again and see what's going on. I hope my air conditioner running in the background isn't causing any sound issues. Maybe you can't hear it too well. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Three days have passed since you last visited the laboratory. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They appear to be very hungry. So let us head over to the tank. So they're still frogmen. Well, they're going to be frogmen from here on out until they leave the cage. Well, not the cage, the, the tank. <laughs> Must have food. The air is so dry. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm drying up. Turn on the sprinkler. Put the sprinkler switch on for me. My skin is so dry. Of course, I'm going is to die again. if you don't spray some water in the air. Water. Turn on the sprinkler. So very dry. Dying. Do you Want me to die? Spray some water on me. I'm parched. Spray me now. Water. We'll, we'll get there. Turn on the sprinkler. We'll get there. Help. Water. Sprinkler. I need some friggin' water. Now. Spritz me and die. Ooh, that's the ticket. I'm drying up. Turn on the sprinkler. I'm going to die if you don't find me some service around here. It's too dry in here. Turn on the sprint. Ooh, that's the ticket. Must have food. Let me check that the insect cage. Because we need some food here for Seaman. And uh, here we go. We have eggs, but they gotta hatch. But they won't hatch until we put some spray in there. Give me something to eat. I'm starving. Give me something to eat. I'm starving. You have to feed me right now, or I'll die. Feed me right now. Feed me right now. Must have food. Feed me this instant or I'll die. Feed me right now. I'm starving to death here. Give me something. Anything. So hungry. This is your last chance. Yeah, Seaman gets pretty vocal. Especially when he's a frog. But we gotta wait for these two eggs to hatch first before we can feed him. There we go. Just in time to be grub. Come on. Let me crab you. I'm starving to death. Please. I'm hungry. Oh. Give me something to eat. I'm starving. Just one larva at a time. Yep. I'm stuffed. Okay. Now we can take the other larva. 
If I can... There we go. Give me something to eat. I'm starving. I'll bet if I were a dog, you'd feed me. Hey, hairbag, do your friggin' job and feed me. Oh, yummy baity goodness. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Do you know what day it is today? <laughs> oh, I'm a fat seaman now. Hello? <laughs> yes? Say, is there a full moon out? Because I feel a little strange. Do you know what day it is today? It's Father's Day. Have you bought a tacky tie for him yet? Father's Day? No. That was a few days ago. That was on Sunday. Hmm. I was looking at the calendar there. Oh, whatever. Let's tickle Seaman. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's up? What's up? Clouds, birds, and Sega stock. So by now. Good one. Talk? You know, I've never been to a place that's as diet-obsessed as America. It seems like nobody wants to stay healthy the hard way, to actually exercise and eat right. Instead, people are always looking for a quick and easy way to lose a bunch of weight, as if they're just automatically going to stay healthy after the diet is over. It looks like you take pretty regular care of yourself anyway, but have you ever been on a diet? Hmm... Yes. You and just about everyone else. Are you dieting right now? No. I guess you don't need a special diet since you seem to take pretty good care of yourself anyway. Those diets can sometimes do you more harm than good. There's definitely something to watching what you eat, but if you ask me, it seems to me that a lot of the diets that are so fashionable these days are just attempts to wrangle money out of people who are genuinely concerned about their health. It has to be possible to lose weight and get healthy without handing over a bunch of cash for something that may not even be that good for you. Yes, that's true. Talk? I was thinking earlier about how interested your culture is in sports. I would say even obsessed sometimes. It can really get out of hand, but now that we're talking about health and staying fit, it almost doesn't seem like such a bad thing. That is, if you're actually playing a sport and not sitting in front of a TV and watching someone else play it. Tell me, what's your favorite sport to play? Hmm. How about... Softball? You play softball? Yes. Sure. It's so much less scary than baseball, isn't it? <laughs> I think I understand why people want to play sports. It must be fun to see what you can make your body do if you just try a little. And you also get to hang out with other people and test your skills against theirs. I guess I still think some people can get too interested in sports, especially if it interferes with the mental stimulation they get. As with most things, balance is the key. You know what I should have said? I should have said bowling. Because I have really played bowling recently. So I'm wondering what I... So I was wondering what he would say if I would say that. Oh well. Too late now.
the way it always goes, you know. You just, it's like when you're talking to someone, a real person, it's like you always think about what you could have said after you, know, you actually said what you said. Sure. Talk. I was thinking earlier about sports and how popular they are here. As I was saying, it would be really great for the collective health of the country if everyone played sports, but it doesn't do so much for you to just sit and watch them. I want to find out about this fascination with watching other people play sports, being a spectator. Do you follow any professional sports? Well, just for conversation. Yes. What's your favorite professional sport to watch on TV? NASCAR. You watch auto racing? Yes. I bet you like your cars the same way you like your women. With anti-lock brakes and automatic fuel injection. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> thanks for playing. <laughs> Now, what do those mean? Talk. Talk. I've been asking you a lot about your health, and it seems that working out and eating right are two big components of it all, along with getting plenty of sleep and sex, two of my favorite things. But it seems that your human body is still so delicate. All the working out and dieting in the world can't make sure that something won't just go wrong anyway. That's where your physicians come in. Do you go to the doctor regularly? Uh, yes. That's to your benefit. Besides, it's another excuse to get naked. <laughs> My, I am behaving saucily today, aren't I? Human beings are very lucky to have figured out how to heal themselves when they get sick. No other creature can do that. It's easy to take all your medical knowledge for granted, but think about it. If you were living even several hundred years ago, you'd still be putting leeches on yourself whenever you got a cold. What was that? Not that leeches are such a bad thing, but they're not exactly what I would call good medicine. Anyway, I'm glad to know that if something goes wrong with you, there's somebody that can help you out. Here it comes. Okay, what was he saying? Oh, not in front of my face. Oh, no, not there. Now it slides down the glass. Hmm. <laughs> well, how humiliating is that? Sick. Sea man is gross. Talk. Like I was saying earlier, right. it's important to go to the doctor every once in a while, mm -hmm. but it seems like it's not always so easy to do since health care can be so expensive. Yeah. I'm fascinated by this idea of health insurance. Well, actually, I find it a little sad. You humans are so sure that someday you're going to get sick that you actually put money away, especially for that time. There's no escaping it, I guess. Do you have health insurance? Yes. I see. Well, if you do, I guess you might as well make good use of it. That didn't come out exactly right, but you know what I mean. Do you get sick a lot? Uh, no. You don't? That's great. Maybe your attempts at healthy living are paying off. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, shall we continue? Maybe just one more chat. Looks like he's gonna hop in the pond and go for a swim. Talk. 
So, we've been talking a lot about the health of your body. Yeah. That's, of course, extremely important, but it also helps to have a healthy mind. So, to that end, have you ever gone to a therapist? Yes. So, then I guess you're used to the responses, yes, I see. (laughs) And what do you think? But seriously, do you think it helped you? Uh, no. Hmm. It seems that a lot of people think that maintaining their mental health through the efforts of a therapist is a sign of weakness. Yet most people don't see going to the doctor for a physical ailment as a sign of weakness. Strange how people think sometimes. By far, the most mysterious part of your human body is the brain. Even your greatest scientists will freely admit that they barely know anything about how it works. And yet, when something is wrong in your head, I'll bet it hurts just as much as a wound or a disease. I hope you take care of your mind as well as you take care of your body. Mm. That is some good words, see man. I'd agree. I've been going to a psychologist for a couple years now. In real life, yes, I have. And it does help a little bit, but, you know, they can't really solve your problems. Only you can do that. But they can give you advice, you know, if they're, you know, good doctors. Alright, one more, and... We'll finish up. Talk. 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 Here we go. No, I'm not hot. Well, that's not what I asked. Talk? Well, thanks for letting me in on some of your health secrets. All of us animals have these fragile, organic bodies that break down and cause us pain. But human beings are especially fascinating because they can actually prevent or cure so many of the body's problems. That's why I wanted to know what you do to keep yourself healthy. I want to know how you humans take advantage of their medical knowledge. Some people take it all for granted and do stupid, destructive things to their bodies just because they're used to having the means to recover. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to go take a little rest. I don't want to overexert myself and get sick. I'll talk to you later. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Interesting. So, with that, I guess that'll be all for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed this Seaman chat session. <laughs> no, I did. It was pretty cool. A little silly, but eh, nothing wrong with that, I guess. All right, guys. Well, hey, enough with the heat already. Eh, a little bit over. Well, all right, guys. I'll see you next time. You take care of yourselves.